This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. We have the new Freightliner M2 Plus and SD Plus. Uh, new vocational trucks from Freightliner were out here uh, and driving them around, putting them through their paces, learning about all the new updates and details. So come along and we'll see what we can learn. All right, so one of the important things for our customers to know, one of the things we're communicating is, you know, the best just got better, right? So there's certain things that we haven't changed. A lot of the things that we haven't, or that we've, uh, that have made the M2 and SD product line so successful over the last uh, couple of decades. Right, so it's you know the visibility right with the 2500 square inch windshield sloped hood you guys will see as you're getting back into the m2 for those of you who haven't driven one in a long time it's like driving a big pickup truck um thinking about the legendary maneuverability right the 55 degree wheel cut which is critical for p d for food and beverage applications um our um steel reinforced aluminum cab you know so cab uh, durability uh the hemrob uh, rivets cab construction the cab configurations we offer, right? So you have the day cab, we have this extended cab, 26 inch uh, extended cab. We have a 48 inch crew cab, which you'll see out on the track as well. So wanting to remind the market, that's we have that as well. And again, some of the features that have made the M2 so successful. Our, um, uh, our frame rails, clear back of cab, the routing and clipping that we updated a number of years ago. So while this represents, the plus series represents a major change, there, are, there has been an evolution over time. Um, so improving that routing and clipping has been, was a key part of that a few years ago. So what has changed on the M2 and SD product lineup with the Plus Series? First and foremost, one of the things you'll, you'll notice on the M2 product line is the new grill and the new air intake cover. So you'll notice, for those of you who are familiar with our Cascadia product, the styling cues uh, that we took from the Cascadia. A lot of our customers not only run Cascadias, but maybe they'll run some box trucks in their last mile delivery and they like those who have seen this product have loved the fact that there's that tie-in between the Cascadia and the M2 product line. So that's a key, a key styling cue change on the M2 product. So thinking about the front of cab, what else has changed? Uh, Aaron called out Detroit Assurance, right? So you'll see the bumper mounted radar and the uh, camera system in the windshield there. So that's something you'll notice right off the bat. So those of you familiar with Detroit Assurance with the Active Brake Assist 5, has the, uh, the, we're able to fuse those signals together for um, full braking on moving vehicles and stop vehicles, moving pedestrians, stop pedestrians uh, for that added layer of safety. Again, we're, we're all about, uh, you know, Aaron uh, did a nice job queuing things up, all about the safety of the operator, the drivers, the surrounding traffic, and then the, the pedestrians at large. Again, thinking about these guys right here that are operating in uh, you know, urban environments, that's absolutely critical to have that full braking on moving pedestrians. From a front, uh, front of the cab perspective, uh, let's go ahead. We talked about assurance. One of the things I will do now is open up the hood. I'll show a couple of things that have changed um, with the plus here. So you guys wanna walk over here with me. Of course, uh, we've got the red engine, the Cummins engine in here. So Aaron did a nice job talking about Detroit assurance with Cummins engine, again, this is this is a huge deal, especially in this market uh, that utilizes uh, the B67 L9 engines. Having Detroit Assurance, having our best in class safety offering is absolutely critical uh, for these customers. Again, we'll have, we have active brake assists uh, five, um, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise down to 10 miles per hour in this product as well. Uh, one of the things uh, in that camera setup up there are the sensors that deliver intelligent high beam uh, assist uh, basically when you're on the road, you got your uh, high, high beam on, you're uh, encountering another vehicle, automatically uh, takes you out of high beam. It's also got the sensors for uh, auto windshield wiper and auto um, uh, headlights when you have the uh, switch turned to auto. One of the reasons why I wanted to open up the hood is uh, a couple, one of the key things we did was move some of the electrical components, including the power distribution module, which you can see here in this black box. Uh, we relocated it off the fender here, and as you can see, the movement here of this uh, fender, why that might be so important in terms of uh, vis or durability, so it's less prone to the, to the uh, to road vibrations. You can actually see the, the mounting position where we used to mount it, but now we've put it here and we've put it in a 
IP69K, I believe, environmentally uh, sound um, box for additional protection. So essentially what that means is you can take a high pressure uh, water stream and still be protected. So that's critical in terms of protecting the PDM from chemicals, from road uh, debris, uh, other things that could cause downtime. We also moved the transmission control uh, module as well back here, again, for additional protection. So uh, that's all be a common theme. We moved a lot of the electrical components. A few things right here on the firewall. There's a couple of other uh, key aspects um, uh, that we moved actually behind the, the dash as well. So we've really focused on placement of electrical system components to you know, uh, reduce instances of downtime. So let's go ahead and close her up. One of the other key features of Detroit Assurance that I haven't really had a chance, I haven't hit on yet is the sidecar assist. So this is an optional feature which helps inform the driver when there's a pedestrian, there's an object, there's a vehicle on the side of, uh, on the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. So the, in the um, A pillar on the passenger side, there's a little yellow rectangle to warn you that there's an object there as you're coming alongside an object. And then if you throw on your turn signal and you attempt to change lanes or you attempt to make a turn when there's an object there, there's a red warning light and an audio um, a warning system as well. So you'll know that there's uh, 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 a lot of, you know, passenger cars today have that, that warning so you know that there, when there's a, an object or a person there. If you guys want to step on over this direction, I'll open the, the passenger side door and I'll kind of walk through some of the new features on the interior of the vehicle. And so a lot of what we focused on in updating the uh, M2 and SD and creating the Plus Series uh, had to do with the um, operator and the driver experience. Now these guys are sitting in their, uh, their office for the day for you know, eight, nine, ten hours a day. And that's been some of the key customer feedback we've uh, heard. You know, they love all those features I talked about, the visibility and the maneuverability, but the interior was something that we really needed to focus on um, to you know, keep, keep that uh, leadership position in these markets. So one of the things, one of the things that we updated here um, is we improved the, the, uh, the, the door panel, the dash material. Uh, we improved the plastic material that's inside the vehicle to something more robust or reduce squeaks and rattles. So that's something you'll notice when you're, especially on the off-road course, you're not gonna hear those squeaks and rattles, right? It's, it's really designed for that improved fit and finish um, in those types of environments. One of the other things we added here is now we have available this new map pocket, which we have integrated. We've updated the uh, robustness of the material here to be able to use as an additional grab handle. Um, rated to up to 300 pounds, so uh, an average to large adult could, can uh, utilize this map pocket confidently uh, as an additional uh, point of contact. Um, also optional on both sides of the, of the uh, cab are a uh, optional aluminum kick plate, so thinking about the SD models especially, uh, you know, those job sites, lots of mud, lots of uh, grime, uh, you can be able to use those kick plates for, for added durability. Um, one of the things, other things we, exciting things we did on the door was at remove the electric door and lock switch, uh, button switches from the B panel onto the door, which, you know, seems really uh, intuitive. Most cars and most vehicles you drive in today have uh, those switches located on the door for easy, easy access. Um, another key aspect of the door, we, as you can tell, we did a lot, to, made a lot of improvements to the door. We actually moved the speaker from the dash to the door as well. And that was actually a key piece of customer feedback is the you know, how poor the audio quality was in its former position. So we moved it here to the door so you have better sound quality. So thinking about, um, we talked about the material, we talked about the plastic, uh, the, new, the, new, the new material. We also updated, uh, we have three new trim packages as well, depending on your application, depending on customer preference. So. Right here we have in this vehicle, we call it the rugged uh, package, which uh, features a nice gunmetal gray tri hard trim piece, as well as uh, bright finished bezels, leather wrapped steering wheel, um, and Mordura cloth seats. 
So uh, the rugged package is in this M2. It's actually optional in the M2 product lineup and it's standard on the SD. And, on, and conversely, uh, standard we have on the M2 product lines what we call the professional package. So that's more of a uh, value for value conscious cu customers. So you've got the uh, kind of the black trim piece, the vinyl seats, which are easy to clean. So those guys, those folks who really value or kind of want that value conscious package. And then on both the SD and on the M2 product line, we have an elite package, which is another, uh, you know, we've got bright finished bezels. We've got the leather wrapped steering wheel again, as well as uh, some additional seat options and then a nice wood grain uh, hard uh, trim piece. Um, one of the other improvements we've made is all LED standard lighting in the cab. So we've got the LED dome light and then the under door light down here. Um, and then optional, we have the uh, we have a premium package for lighting as well, which you can see there in the foot uh, foot well on the passenger and driver side. So you've got that orange light for additional uh, lighting in the cab. And then we actually part of that package is a reader light up top. So in addition to the dome light, you've got the reader light up there on the overhead console. Some of the other improvements inside the cab is the seats. Uh, we updated our seat material, the quality of the foam uh, we've upgraded as well as the contours of the seat, right? So we've taken a lot of the cues from the Cascadia um, over time to improve the contours of the seat for uh, more ergonomics, better ergonomics, better um, comfort for, for the drivers, for the operators that are sitting in that all day. Um, there's also improved travel of the seat, so you can move the seat a couple of additional inches uh, back and forth, and then uh, from a reclining perspective as well. So the uh, operator driver can position the, their seat to their to their liking for better comfort, more space uh, as needed. Um, one of the things you'll notice in here is the improved steering wheel. Uh, we've got, you'll probably have noticed that on some of our other models within DTNA, but it's got the multi-function buttons that are integrated into the steering wheel. So as you're utilizing, uh, if, as you're uh, working the radio, your Bluetooth, or the uh, different functions in our five inch driver display, you don't have to take your, you don't have to look down, look down to the B panel. You have the, the functionality right there at your fingertips so you can keep your eyes on the road. So that's a great safety feature uh, in addition to kind of ease of use and driver comfort. Talked about the five inch display. So you've seen that in other DTA models. We bring that into the M2 and SD product line. So that delivers your trip information, your fault code information, uh, Detroit assurance, safety information, warnings, all of that information. You're thinking about adaptive cruise control, all of that information is right there in the five inch display. The PTO control logic, which maybe you've seen on some of our other models. So when you put it in PTO mode, you can um, control the, the engine speed. It brings up that card in the uh, display. From a switch perspective, we've improved the switch face and actually even in the thinking about the B panel, which you'll be able to see as you're driving, uh, we've improved the amount of space that truck equipment manufacturers can utilize in that space. Uh, by two and a half times. So there's a, way more switches you can integrate in there, programmable switches like we have on some of our other models. So we've really improved the switch uh, capabilities and the amount, number of switches you can spec in that configurable panel, not just in that lower strip, but there's actually uh, the upper strip above the radio in this truck, you can see an additional gauge. So you can, there's room for additional switches and gauges. In addition to some of the additional switches that you can actually spec in the overhead console, which you can do today, um, with our former SmartPlex system on the uh, S M2 and SD product lines. So highly configurable, lots of flexibility for our customers and truck equipment manufacturers. Uh, some of the other improvements we made in the switches, they're more easily, uh, you know, they're more tactile and they've got the little divider line, divider piece between the switches so you know which switch you're utilizing. So that's something that's definitely a huge improvement on and the LED backlighting uh, in those switches. So lots of improvement made improvements made in that regard. Um, also introduced on the M2 and SD product line now is the transmission control stock, again, which you've seen on some of our other DTA products. So if you have a DT12V automated manual or an Allison automatic, you can um, spec the, uh, that transmission control stock and control um, those features from there. Again, easy to use, easy to manage uh, from an ergonomics perspective, keeping your eyes on the road. This truck actually has the park pole spec on it, so you can kind of see actually where they where we place that when you spec the. We have an Allison 3000 series, 4000 series. Inspect the um, the transmission control stock that actually improves the amount of space in the cab, so it moves that cup holder up, so it takes this uh, 
this uh, space uh, clears that space out so you have additional leg room. So, but for those customers who still want the push button or they want that, uh, that park ball controller, um, they can still spec that. One of the key pieces actually that you'll notice out on the, out on the road and on the off-road course is the improved insulation. That, uh, that would be remiss if I didn't cover that, uh, which is huge from a uh, driver comfort perspective, the amount of noise in the cab. I think you'll notice that right off the bat once you're in those trucks out on the road and on the um, uh, off-road course. We're now offering standard uh, insulation on the roof, which we didn't offer before as part of our standard. Um, then we have improved materials, um, uh, not only in our standard, but also in our premium package, which with the premium package, we're also now offering a, uh, a back wall um, uh, insulation as well for improved sound, improved uh, climate environment in the truck.